Hello, welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 93. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. It's not just for beginners, it's not just for people who are who are to the extreme, it's for everybody, it's for all of you. So thanks so much for joining us, and it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they are, they are made. They are made, and they're made here, and you can make it by the help of these videos. We have recipes, we have nutrition information, we have motivation, training techniques. Today is episode 93, and it is Tabata Training Method Part 2. Now, as you can see back in episode number 32 on MadeFitTV.com, in the past episode archives, we did Tabata Training, and it's a really awesome way to switch up your workout, whether it be with cardio and strength, it hits it all. It's very intense. Highly recommend that, you know, not just beginners start it. You want to be a little bit more into your workout program before you incorporate it. But this is a high intensity, low rest, keep it moving type of workout. It really pushes it to the limit. It's going to make you cry. It's going to make you sweat. And you're going to love it. And today we're doing it in home. So um, Amy Susness, she's a great uh, viewer. She said to me, though, Jenny, can you share some fun cardio ideas with us? Because I'm not a fan of cardio. Well, you're in luck because this is what we're doing. And I just want to let you guys know really quick, join us every Saturday at noon for Ustream.tv. We do this live so you get a sneak peek at what we're shooting and all the things, the contest things that we're doing before we upload it on Wednesday. So check it out. Okay, so Tabata training. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to be using the Gym Boss. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment and how you can win one. But the first movement that we're going to do, Tabata training, just a breakdown. We're going to do 20 seconds of the movement, 10 second rest, then we're going to repeat that seven times for four movements. So it's going to be four minutes per movement. That's a 16 minute workout, no rest. And we actually have a template on uh, here that we're going to put up there that you can print off and track everything. So first movement that I'm going to show you is going to be the V-sit crunch. So what you're going to do is you're going to get on the ground. You're going to keep your arms up. Okay, you're going to do as many as you can in 20 seconds. All right, ready and go. You're bringing your knees to your chest. You're leaning back. You're keeping your chest up. You're exhaling on each one. Go as fast as you can, but you want to stay controlled. <sighs> Contracting the abs. Bring the knees in. So when you do 20 seconds of that, you're going to rest for 10 seconds, and boom, immediately get right back in to the V-sit. And you can see from episode 32, I broke it all down for you, and I'm going to be breaking it down for you with the template that I'm going to be giving you on this. Okay. Movement number two, that one's really killer. It's gonna hit your abs. Remember, you're doing eight rotations of the 20 second full out 10 second rest. All right, the second movement is gonna be a full plank with arm raise. This one is challenging because it's not only working your arms, it's working your core, it's working your glutes, it's working your quads because you are holding your body up. This isn't for the weak. You wanna make sure that you're conditioned. So you're gonna get into the plank position, full plank. You want your arms to be shoulder width apart. You want your feet hip width apart unless you are a lot more advanced and you want to bring them in like together but this just allows a little bit more leverage you're going to put 20 seconds on the clock and you're going to count as many as you can boom raise it up bring it back down now when you raise it up you're challenging your abs right now because if i wasn't keeping my abs tight i would go like this you want to keep everything straight ahead straight ahead keep your head up keep the back straight keep the abs tight abs tight i'm really feeling it right in through here abs tight Whew. exhale exhale you're feeling the shoulders the legs the butt the abs everything full out 20 seconds rest 10 seconds and then repeat i don't want you resting longer than that you got to be consistent you got to punch through it okay the next movement that i'm going to show you is going to be the front press front press you're going to be standing what I want you to do is just grab water bottles, 16 ounce water bottles. There may be a couple pounds because I don't want you using anything for this. I want you to do this inside your house or at a park. You don't need equipment. You don't need a gym. You can do this on your own. No excuses. So get water bottles. If you want heavier ones, feel free. If you want to fill them with sand, make them a little heavier, great. All right, so you're going to put your arms up 90 degrees. See that? This is your starting and ending position. You want one foot in front of the other, staggered, okay? And what you're going to do, I'll show you from the side. You're going to punch it out. You got 20 seconds on the clock. Punch it out. You want to keep your chest up. I don't want you leaning forward and back. I want to keep everything tight, tight. Punch. Keep those abs in. Keep the chest up. Feeling the shoulders. The first set, you're going to be like, mm, this is easy, Jenny. I don't feel anything. 
rest 10 seconds, boom, punch it out again. You're gonna repeat that seven more times. I guarantee you that these little water bottles are gonna feel like 20 pound weights by the time you get to the eighth repetition or the eighth set because you're constantly exploding, doing the explosive movements. You're working the shoulders, triceps, keeping those abs in tight. You're gonna feel it everywhere. Okay, the last movement I'm a huge fan of. This is the modified squat jumps. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your feet wider than hip width apart, about shoulder width apart, roughly. And what you're gonna do, you can keep your hands in front, you can keep them behind your head, but all I wanna do, wherever your hands are, you wanna make sure you're keeping your chest up. Okay, 20 seconds on the clock. What I'm gonna have you do, you're gonna jump together and down. So arms and head, so squat through the heels. And when you jump together, you wanna jump on the toes, you're hitting the calves. And then when you come down, you're going through the heels, through the heels. Nice and high, okay? And then you're gonna rest for 10 seconds and repeat it. Now what I was talking about, this gym boss thing over here, Chris, I want you to zoom in really quick. This is the Gym Boss. I just want to thank Jake from Gym Boss. Um, this is a Michigan-based company, which you guys know we're out of Michigan. We're out of Metro Detroit. And we are partnering up with Gym Boss. We want to give one of these things away, but I'm going to show you how, how it works because these things are awesome. You can set it up to however intervals that you want to set it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this thing on, and I'm going to show you how it works with the last movement that we just did, okay? So I have it set up to 20 seconds and then 10 second rest. I'm gonna start it Can and it's gonna tell me, microphone? what's that? Your no, you're gonna hear it. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell me, I don't even have to look at a clock, it's gonna tell me when to switch because I already set it to that. Okay, ready? And it's gonna go. <sighs> Keep breathing. See, I don't have to look at a clock. I can just focus on the movement. You wanna focus on the form. You can focus on counting how many reps you're doing because you wanna make sure that you are beating your time or beating your reps from the previous one. I'm really feeling it. Really feeling it. Okay, and I'm gonna rest for 10 seconds. Resting, resting. You might think it's a long time, but man, it is not a long time because it's gonna make you get right back into it. That's right. Okay, so you guys get the hint, okay? I'm just gonna shut this thing off. So you guys can win one of these things. We're gonna have a link set up for you guys, and we are gonna have you take a picture of yourself at any location where you every day, your favorite place that you work out. It can be a gym, the outside in the gym. It could be a parking lot where you meet up with your friends. It could be a park. It could be the YMCA. It could be anywhere inside your own house. I want you to eat track, bleachers, whatever. I want you to go to where you work out and where you make yourself fit every day with your program. And I want someone to take a picture of you creative picture, whether you're doing push-ups, whatever, I want you to show me what you do. I don't want you to think like, oh, well, Jenny likes this, so I'm gonna do this. No, I want you to show me what you do to get in shape, and I want your friend to take a picture of you, and we're gonna, uh, you're gonna go to the link that we have right here, you're gonna print off, it says, I'm made fit, and you're gonna have that picture in the picture, you're gonna hold it up, give us a creative picture, and the deadline is April 17th, 2010, next Saturday, and we're gonna pick the winner that we think is most creative, and we're gonna give you one of these for free. So you can check it out, we have the link on our website as well. Okay, and one last thing, I just wanna announce the winner, I wanna announce the winner for the Health and Wellness and No Times Tell Seminar Series, and that is um, a website that you can check out. Here's the link. I was interviewed. I gave a lot of, um, it was an hour interview. You can register and listen to it. It gives a lot of good tips on how to get in shape in no time and switch it up. But um, Nazneen Lodia from Hinsdale, Illinois, and she is the winner of the Made Fit TV t-shirt, towel, and water bottle. And real quickly, the winner of the Gym Boss is also gonna get a t-shirt, okay? That's right. Thanks so much for joining us here on MadeFitTV.com. Email me at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com. I'll see you next time.